Welcome to Cooking with Natsumi. Today's recipe is Chapche, Korean Star Fried Glass Noodles. Let's begin. The ingredients for Chapche, Korean Star Fried Glass Noodles. For four people, 100 gram of maroni, Japanese style glass noodles, some water to cook glass noodle, 140 gram of grind meat. Today I am going to use buffalo meat, one carrot. Here I'm using pre-washed carrots, one pepper. Here I'm using pre-washed, pre-cut pepper. One onion. Here I'm using pre-washed and pre-cut onion. Two dry mushrooms, already soaked in water and ready to use. One tablespoon of cooking sake, some sesame oil to cook, six pieces of garlic, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, seasoning cooking sake, one tablespoon of Chinese bouillon powder, and some salt and pepper. So here is my trick. I like to buy a bulk of garlic, but obviously you, I cannot use it in, you know, within one week, right? So what I do is peel the garlic and divide it, put in those small Ziploc bag and put the date on. If you do this, you can keep garlic in the freezer for about one year. So for example, you know, I know I'm gonna prepare the chapche today. So the night before, I pick a few garlic, the amount I, I need to use, and put in the refrigerator to defrost. And it's, you know, it's soft and ready to use. I recommend once you defrost the garlic, uh, use it within a few days, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna crush the garlic here. Maybe one, two piece together. Let me see. And squeeze, press, squeeze. See, this is great. Continue the rest. One, two, about two piece. And another two pieces. Good. Okay, now this is already water soaked ready to use dry mushroom. Night before, I put, you know, those dry mushroom in the, you know, cup. I put dry mushroom there and I put uh, 30 milliliter, like a little bit of water, 30 milliliter of water to soak. And then see that it soaks the water, it's becoming soft and ready to use. So right now, you can eat it, but I'm gonna remove this hard part. And slice that mushroom. Okay, now carrot. And this is this carrot came as already like small piece like this. I didn't cut, but I put in the freezer. And sometime like a uh, onions and peppers, I use from the freezer like frozen. But this time I wanted cut carrot, so I kind of put it defrost, and then. I'm gonna slice it in small pieces. And I'm gonna bring paper towel, wrap around, just to remove the excess of water so that the texture of the food, the dish won't change. So, and remove it, that's good. Uh, this is good enough. Okay. okay, first of all, to expedite the time, I'm going to boil the water to cook the glass noodle. Okay. So I cannot tell you how much, exactly how much water you need, but let's say I try to uh, cover, put the water, about half of my pan here. One quarter and another one quarter. Uh, one quart. Did you see? I pour the plenty of water. It should be all right. Okay, now let's put on high heat and put the lid on and let it do its work. Meanwhile, okay, let's cook all those vegetables and meat. Okay, so let's put in the high heat and let's put some uh, uh, sesame oil. So this is a great to spread the oil without losing or not excess of oil, right? So spread out through the pan. Okay, now let's 
cook the garlic. Nice sound. Nice smell. And I don't want to burn it. So reduce the heat a little bit. Okay, now onion. Feeling good. And carrot. And soaked dry mushroom. Make sure not to burn the garlic. Okay, now I'm gonna put some lid on to let it do its magic. So try to keep it a medium heat. Make sure occasionally stir the vegetables so that to avoid burning. Becoming soft, good sign. So based on getting soft, now I am going to put meat. Still keeping in the medium heat. Okay, now, did you see? The water is boiled. Okay, now I am going to put glass noodle. Cook about five minutes. Again, cooking is multitasking. Make sure I don't get vegetable and the meat is not burned. Make sure to stir occasionally. Japanese people love Korean food, right? So, of course, uh, the Korean food made by uh, Korean people and Jap uh, Korean food made by Japanese people would be different. So we have our own take on it, but uh, I think still it's good. Okay, okay so let's sometime extra stir glass noodle so it won't stick to the bottom of the pan because I used frozen meat to so take a little bit longer than the meat not frozen. So if you are using regular meat, it will um, cook much faster. I think now it's getting ready. So now, so meat and the, most of the vegetables are ready, right? So now I'm gonna put salt and pepper and mix it well. And then I am going to put some pepper. I put pepper later because pepper is cooked much, much faster than any other ingredients. And after putting the pepper, I'm gonna put the, all the rest of the sauce. Mirin, cooking sake, soy sauce, and about one tablespoon of Chinese bouillon. This is teaspoon size, right? So I have to put cube and mix well. Pepper also, it's very fast, right? Already start being soft. At the same time, noodle is ready. Okay, I'm gonna stop the heat because those are ready. Stop the heat, I put the lid on, let it sit. Okay, meanwhile, let's stop the boiling water. I'm gonna drain the water. So before the boiling, before the draining the water, make sure none of the noodles are sticking in the bottom. Okay, now let's drain the hot water. It's very hot, be careful. Okay, good. And... Okay, let's wash a little bit with cold water to remove any stickiness. It's hot, very careful, be, uh, very hot, so be careful. is ready. To remove any excess of water. And then I just gonna put this glass noodle back in the pan. It's 
very busy. Okay, now let's put the like, low heat. Mix well with in with meat, vegetable, cooked meat, and vegetable with grass noodle. Without squeezing, squashing the noodle, very soft touch. Just mar like as if you're marinating, marinating the noodle with those sauce and meat and vegetable. At the end, when it is ready, you don't have to, but I like to put extra sesame oil above. Stop the heat, put uh, one circle of sesame oil. And ready. Let's have a taste. Itadakimasu. Let's make, make sure to grab everything. Meat, vegetable, noodle, everything. Mmm, ah. yummy. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and select the bell option to get notified of my future recipes. See you soon.